Hey, this is Sarah from Card Crazy Cook. I am back with a under the sea themed um, card using the new memory box release. I chose the three collage dies and the fresh aqua pack. I chose those, those three colors. Um, any of those would work wonderful for an under the sea themed um, card. I, I used a A2 size card, four and a half by five and a quarter, and cut the three um, dies, largest to smallest. Then I also am um, showing the coral and kelp ribbon dies that match the collage dies. I went through and was finding some papers to cut different elements out. I, I used the um, polished foil. I also chose a turquoise from the frosted glitter pack and then a orange from the graceful garden. Let me switch that up. That's the um, <laughs> orange is from the frosted pack and the green was from the graceful garden. I took the um, coral, individual coral die from the bubble coral collage and the coral from the coral and kept die set. Um, I also decided to switch up my glitter paper and I chose a pink from the pastel glitter pack. I die cut the, um, all the corals at least once from each of the different colors. Here I, go. I am die cutting each um, coral. I just remind you that it's easy to remove the um, these type of dies from th the thicker paper if you wiggle them back and forth in the um, paper to get them loose. I also, um, here I am trying to decide what of the green glitters or uh, polished foil glitter I wanted to use. I decided to choose the polish um, foil paper only and I die cut the kelp from the coral and kelp ribbon and the kelp from the kelp collage die. That's one neat thing about these collage um, die sets. They do come with their own individual dies that co um, coordinate with the scene that you're creating which is nice and then to, if you wanted to add extra stuff all these different dies that match so beautifully with it here I am trying to decide how I'm going to place the different kelps and how many I need. So I just go through and die cut as many as I want. I decided I did not just want two colors of coral. So I took a Copic marker and colored the um, yellowish orange glitter that I paper that I chose and then a couple of the um, pink pastel. So then I have a more vibrant um, coral colors in my um, reef. And just go along and color it. It's pretty easy to um, color over this glitter paper with a Copic marker. And then I decided I didn't like the um, some of the uh, kelp and coral already in the scene. I wanted to build up around how I wanted things to go myself. So I just went ahead with some scissors and went around and cut off all the um, extra coil and coral and kelp. And just fussy cut it with a little pair of scissors. Um, I wanted things to be colorful and glittery for this scene you'll see I mean, just more of a 3d dimension and this is i'm just going to show you how i went through deciding where i wanted what coral to go where um, i started with the lighter color corals in the background the taller colors in the the background and that's the smallest dye that cuts out and i cut it out of a darker um the darkest uh aqua um, and the paper pack and just played around with where I was going to put everything. You'll see I sometimes I just glue stuff right in place because I knew right where I wanted it and others I play around with their placements and glue it in where I think I it should be. 
And I had so much fun building up this card. Oh, and then my, of course, my <laughs> had a little problem with the glue sticking and had to reapply a few times there. For some reason, this some of the glitter didn't want to stick to my card, but that's okay. More glue and some pressure, and it stays fine. And there I built up the middle scene, adding the coral to the upper, like upper shelves. I'm keeping the upper center clear of any, um, any of the coral or the kelp. I'm going to show you, I'm going to put a turtle up in the middle up there and swimming through the upper portions of the um, coral reef and wanted to leave that blank. So I just put the foil kelp around here and there trying to keep things in threes is a good way to design cards is having things in threes uh, or odd numbers and different heights so I know I want my turtle to be in the front so having a higher kelp in the back is fine and I glue everything in place and put it down I think that's pretty good now I'm going to decide I wanted to add dimension, so I went through and added double-sided foam tape to the back of my um, cards, bases, to pop up. I wanted to have the depth of the ocean show on this card, and in the end it's really not that thick of a card with the 3M tape, because it's that 3M tape is pretty thin. If you have a thicker type um, foam tape I would maybe use double you can always use scrap pieces of paper and cut thin pieces and glue them on top of each other that also helps build up um, and add depth to your car without adding so much thickness to it if you have a thick foam I line everything up make sure that's how I wanted it a nice depth there I chose the turtle to go in the center and then I picked out some of the smaller fish. I die cut the turtle out of heavy um, card stock 110. I also cut out squares of um, shiny paper, shiny card stock. And for the colors I chose fossilized amber and wild honey and I colored each paper with each color. Um, the next was the uh, abandoned coral and some carved pumpkin. I also tried to combine the two colors together going back and forth and just blobbing a little bit on each. Um, for uh, green I used um, peacock feather and uh, cracked pistachios. I also did a pink color which was catch flamingo and spun sugar. And I kind of went back and dabbled some of the different color of the two different colors on top of, to make the paper not so flat. Next, I took the Distress Micro Glaze and I lightly rubbed it on, on the top of each of the papers, just putting a little bit of a um, layer on the top. This will help um, make lock in the color the distress ink on the glossy paper so it won't come off also it gives it a nice little more of a glaze i guess i wanted something that was had a little shine to it but didn't compete between the glitter and the foil papers so that's what i did to give it uh, just that little bit of under the sea shininess like things are wet then you take a clean cloth and then polish the paper you're wiping off the excess glaze and kind of you are kind of polishing the paper up so it has that, that shininess that I'm uh, looking for the, we'll next then color the turtle I cut the turtle out of 110 cards um, cardstock I took the shell and used a e23 Copic marker so it's a light golden brown and I colored in each of the little squares on the turtle shell and then next I'll take the E37 
and use a um, flicking motion on the top and the bottom just to add a little bit of darker color to make the shell look more round. Then you go back over with an E23, the light color. For the outside of the shells, I used um, YG03 light green and I just go around the outline of the shells shell there and just add some of the green color. I will then go back over with a darker green, YG63, and that's mainly I want to add some darker color. The light YG03 was too light for me and I wanted it a little darker. I do then go back over on the underneath side of the shell and on the top side of the shell and just add a little more depth. I go ahead and start I'm coloring the turtle's body and I use the same uh, greens and brown um, so I take the lightest YG03 and color around the areas of the um, turtle body that you're going to see and then I take the dark green and add a little um, a shadow shadow layer with a um, YG63 underneath the turtle's belly on the feet and around the head uh, then I take the uh, uh, Distress Collage uh, Medium Matte and paint that on with a paintbrush. To, you know, the Collage Medium Matte will give it that little shininess, make it look more realistic like a shell. Um, I just go ahead and paint that on and I'm going to set that aside to dry. And then I'm going to start uh, die cutting out all my fish. So I use the School of Fish die. And I chose some of the smaller fishes, and they're going. I try to make sure I get some that are going in opposite directions. So I took the picked the larger goldfish-looking fish as well. So I had some in the opposite direction, and I just go ahead and die cut it out of all the different colors um, of my papers that I created. And I just chose randomly what fish I wanted to cut from the paper. And then I'm going to start um, adding them to my coral reef scene, seeing where I want to place them. I just chose some on the back side, front side of the coral, moving them or placing them in and out of the different um, elements, fish in one direction, fish in the other direction. And then I go ahead and start gluing them all in place once I like how they, the arrangement. Now I'm kind of putting things together, making sure I have a spot for my turtle up at the top. Going through, adding some more fish in areas I think are empty, and gluing them in, in um, into place. Once I'm happy with the placement, I go ahead and um, glue the turtle shell on the turtle. You can see there that the um, shell has this little shine to it from the um, collage matte medium. And then I'm going to add the turtle in with a piece of acetate. So I, I'm going to cut a slim piece of acetate to um, fit into that front, behind the front panel. I, I think I cut it a half an inch wide, but I think I could have gone smaller and did like a quarter of an inch. The turtle was so big, so I wanted something a little um, wider to be more stable for the turtle. 
and I'm going to glue that to the back side of the front panel. I think here I decide what panel do I want to stick it on? Do I want to do it on the the back of the or the first top or the second panel? And I decided to put it on the um, top panel in the back, so I just measure it and trim it down and then glue it into place. I make sure where I want to place my turtle amongst the um, fish, then I go ahead and just use some double-sided adhesive to um, stick it into place on the ac acetate. Okay, now it's time to um, put the layers together. I'm going to go ahead and use um, mounting tape. Uh, I use the 3M mounting tape. It just has the best adhesive um, that I find. I, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, <laughs> it. It's easy to take off and put back on without ruining your paper, plus you can um, without you know, ruining the paper and change things up if you need to, but it does hold things and secure securely. So I go ahead and um, put the mounting tape on the back of each layer, making sure to avoid the uh, bubble cutouts and align the panels on top of each other. Okay, I don't show it in the video, but I do um, all three layers and I put foam tape behind all three layers. Now it's time to go ahead and mount your card on your um, card base. So I take a matching deep blue A2 size card and go ahead and create that A2 size card. I make my card bases as I go. I always seem to use the same size card base, but I change up the papers and the colors that I use. So I just never pre-make them. And there you can see that I have the foam uh, mounting tape on the back of the last panel. And I go ahead and align that on the card. And there you go. You have a beautiful coral reef scene created with all these beautiful new dyes from Memory Box. See you next time.